Hi, welcome to Narish Shetty. This is Kishore, and today we are going to discuss about templates or generics. Okay, in C plus plus, another new concept or another important topic is templates. First of all, what is called templates? Okay, and why they are called generics? Now, I am going to explain with first a small example. Okay, first of all, why we need the templates in our programming? Actually, in C plus plus. we are having a function overloading concept in function overloading concept what we are doing we are defining several functions we are defining several functions with the same name by changing number of arguments data types and order of the variables means arguments but here the problem is we have to define several functions for different tasks but the only one thing is the function names are identical okay for example i want to find out the integer sum then generally we have to write a integer function like this okay for example common header file hash include io stream dot h next uh, hash include conio dot h later i am going to write a function like this int what i want to find out sum of two members int x int y now these are the arguments or parameters now return x plus y okay fine now this function is going to find out what integer sum later i want to find out the float sum then what i have to do float sum of float x comma float y now return x plus y now function closed here watch it this function is going to perform integer sum this function is going to perform floating sum but the thing is here the only one common thing is function name is identical so here also sum is there here also sum is there that means we are creating several functions with the same name by changing the arguments okay now it is called what function overloading but here the point is suppose i have entered sum 1 sum 2 now i am going to enter different names now the program is same now it is also performing integer sum float sum that means with the function overloading only we are extending the functionality of functions moreover nothing is there that means what in function overloading we are using the same function for different purposes okay but uh, the program code is never reduced means the size is never reduced now i want to reduce this program size okay how to reduce this program size i want to declare only one function but which can perform all the operations okay now i want to perform i want to declare only one function but which can perform all the operations then how to perform this and now the only one solution is templates okay now the only one solution is templates which are also called generics now template it allows to design it allows to design okay one function for several family of functions means uh, it allows to j one function for several function declarations okay that's why it is used to create okay design or create one function for family of functions and how this one is working and here one more important thing is what here we can declare the functions by using templates as well as classes also by using the templates that's why the templates are divided into two types one is what function template second one is the class template okay which is also called generic functions generic classes now why they are called generic classes because of in a general store also we are having different types of items means one shop for different uh, products one shop for different products like this one function for different tasks means it works on integer float everything that's why how to create this generic function that's why it is called generic function now i'm going to explain first uh, generic function or function template and how to design the function template and what is the syntax of function template with this advantage is what our program size is reduced our program size is reduced okay now i'm going to give how to create a function template 
in function template the first part is what syntax we have to know the syntax. Now it is the function template syntax first of all we have to start a template keyword now every template should be start with template keyword next one in angular brackets class keyword should be provided and next here some name ok. Now p it is called placeholder it is called the placeholder. Now this t type is depended on user sending arguments suppose user is sending integer data then this argument converted into integer floats are sending now floats like this. Suppose you are having two types of data integer float like this then you can declare like this also t1 comma class t2 now it is also possible. Now what happens suppose user is sending integer and float now first argument converted into integer second argument converted into float suppose float and integer first argument becomes floating value second argument becomes integer value like this we can write any number of class arguments also which are called placeholders ok. Now later close the class now here return type function return type that is why first of all return type means return data type later function name here as usual arguments are parameters ok and now we are going to create the functions with the parameters that is why they are called parameterized types also ok. Here templates are also called parameterized types because of every template is having a parameter ok that is why they are also called parameterized types and now here we have to send the parameters next one function body return value common thing ok it is called function body. Now see this without this what it is it is nothing but a function with it it is nothing but a function but the only difference is this function is having template ok additional concept is what template now how to implement the templates in our program. For example in previous example I want to find out integer sum and float sum then how to find out integer sum float sum by using of single function by using of single function now I am going to show you with example template next one class and placeholder name for example t later return type also I am going to mention t means uh, suppose you are sending integer t becomes integer and return value also integer suppose float t also float and here also return type float next the function name is what sum t space sum of now I am going to declare like this t a comma t b ok. Now the a and b are what parameters and the their data type is depended on t suppose user is sending integers now a and b converted into integer suppose user is sending float then a and b converted into float next simply do like this return a plus b now the brackets close that is it. Now watch it here suppose integer values are going to pass now it is going to return integer t also integer now ok suppose floating now it is also returning float t also float now for integer same function for float same function for double also same function for long double, for long integer like this we can use the same function for different concepts ok for different examples that is why it allows to create one function for family of functions ok and now it is finished. How to implement this suppose void main now I am going to start the main function later directly CLR SCR now the screen clear and now I am going to use directly like this C out integer sum equal to sum of 5 comma 9 and L. Now what happened? it is the function calling when function is called the parameters are passed to here now it is a template function uh, generic function now the t value t value is what 5 9 5 9 means uh, integer data that is why t also becomes integer a and b becomes integer return value also integer now it is going to print here that is why 5 plus 9 14 printed next c out float sum equal to now directly float suppose 1.1 comma 2.2 
now I am sending float data. Now the T value converted into float, A and B also floats, return value also float. Now the answer is going to print here 3.3. Now get CH program finish. Now the point here how many definitions we are having means only one definition, but it is going to perform how many types of operations? Two types of operations, okay. Generally, we are using the mobile phones, okay. In mobile phones, we are having a concept called templates. In messaging concept, we are having templates. Already every mobile is having predefined templates like uh, I am busy, I am in driving, I am in class, I am eating like that. Now, already they are created based on the situation what we are doing, okay. Suppose I am in class, now somebody is going to call. Now, immediately I am going to use the I am in class message. Suppose I am in driving, somebody called. Now, I am going to press the I am in driving. That means, uh, calls are different, calls are different, but already templates are created uh, by according to the according to the requirement or position, I am going to use uh, one of the option from the templates, same to same here also. Okay. Here already one definition is created, but based on the situation means based on integer, it is also converted into integer, based on float, it is converted into float. That is why this concept is called templates which is also called generics because of one for several things, one for several things that is why it is called generics. Okay. Using of templates reduces the program size because of instead of several function definitions only one function definition is enough. Okay. It is how to use the function template. Okay, thank you. Thank you for watching.